ever felt that you've been an introvert and you're not a person who can become an effective communicator? And you'd like to find out that how do you overcome this for yourself? If that's something that you'd like to know, this is exactly what I'm going to share today in this very episode. This is Dr. Gopika Kumar, your communication and mindset coach. Let's get started with this right away. often feel that many a times right from the beginning because you know the way that we were being brought up because of our childhood because of our culture and family you know we were always into a setting we might have not been exposed to the right set of circumstances to the right environment because of which our personality might have turned out to be an introvert hey but don't be sad that's not something that you know you should really look down upon it's all about a fact that how do we groom ourselves from here on? Now, I have been an introvert all my life, but here in this very video, I'm going to be speaking to you about my very personal journey and story on how I overcame that for myself. So right in the very beginning, I had that deep burning desire. And when I said beginning, which was just straight out of school, and early into my college and I really had that deep burning desire that I wanted to enter into a Miss India pageant. Now Miss India pageant would have meant that I needed to be all out there you know being the center of a spotlight and definitely not being an introvert definitely going out all the way and making sure that you can stand tall and confident and be able to communicate and express yourself confidently. But hey, I wasn't that person. It wasn't in me really to really showcase that kind of an ability because I always used to feel that being an introvert was something that I wasn't truly proud of. That one experience set out for me a note that only when you're able to gain an opportunity to be on stage over and over and over again. And when I got that opportunity amongst 26 participants, over a duration of two months, day in and day out. There was only and only one role and job that I had to take care of and that was to be on stage and that was to look at the cameras and that was to answer the questions to the panel of judges who were questioning us through various several rounds that we were going through all the time. So over and over again, while I presented myself with that personality trait, I embraced myself and I said, this was something that I needed to learn much early on in life. Had I been able to do that for myself, I would have opened up being able to come out of that shell and being able to express myself confidently. And there I realized the importance that it's not about a personality trait, my friends. It's not about the way that you've really been brought up and your culture and your experiences in your past. It's about how we deal with it now and then moving into the future. And that's how I would want to advocate that if you'd like to become an effective communicator, treat public speaking like a sport. Do it over and over and over again. And very importantly, remember to not put long gaps because that's something that we need to maintain, which is the consistency to make sure that we keep coming back to it, that practice over and over again. Now with that practice is where you'll be able to establish yourself as an effective communicator. If that's the kind of a story that you've been able to relate for yourself as well, and you've had a similar episode as well, do share that with us because we would love to hear that in the comment box. Always continue to make sure that you can share your set of ideas and questions and comments with us in the chat box because it really helps me to create videos which are going to be worth your time and thereby contributing to the world of values for you as well. If this is something that you've been able to connect to, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends. This is Dr. Gopika Kumar signing off.